My name is Mike. Uh, I have an old Rockwell lathe, metal lathe I like to restore and kind of show you guys step by step how it goes. Uh, I started a little late in the game here. I've got the headstock off and uh, the tailstock, as you can see over there, is actually finished. It came out, uh, came out really well. It's not the original colors. It was a two-tone. The lathe originally was a two-tone um, tan and darker gray. I really didn't like it, so I'm going to go with a light gray and a dark gray. Anyway, um, I've got the headstock off. I've pulled all the bull gears and everything out of it, as you can see there. Um, that's the casing itself. I'm going to remove the tag very gently uh, and put them back in with some drive screws when I'm done. And then I'll uh, strip the paint, repaint it, put it all back together, clean everything up. Uh, I will show you a neat thing that I had discovered the other day or rediscovered about stripping paint. If you've ever uh, worked with uh, or restored an old piece of machinery like this, uh, you know that it has tons of layers of paint in it. A sand blaster, you know, or a bead blaster will, you know, absolutely balk at it. Um, but I rediscovered a way that uh, that will uh, make it a lot easier to uh, strip this paint off here. In fact, I've used it. This is the headstock cover, and you can see that. Uh, I mean, it's just all of it's gone, and that honestly, the bulk of that took about two minutes to do, as opposed to a lot longer on a uh, in the in the bead blast cabinet. Also. Um, I would like to show you a little Harbor Freight sandblaster cabinet modification. I did these things if you've ever used them. They're, they're great in a lot of ways, but with Harbor Freight, there's always fit and finish you have to deal with. So what I did was, uh, and the lighting is terrible in these things. So I bought a couple of halogen lights from uh, Home Depot and uh, routed the 12-2 uh, over here to a, actually a dimmer switch. The reason for the dimmer switch is these halogen lights are pretty hot, and this is like Florida. So uh, if I can suffice, I mean, if the less light like this, so say, is, uh, will work for me, you know, and uh, cut down on the heat maybe during the summer, I will probably use it at a lower level and only use it very brightly like that when, when needed. They're getting cut down on the heat.